Okay. Oh wow! Got the old, 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 old ammo. Bang! It's a kapow! It's got brand new discs to the back. <laughs> What's going on guys, welcome to another video of Hotstick and yes, the title is correct, we have bought another Civic Type R EP3 but this is a different one, we got this from Scotland, believe it or not, from the Savage Auction site but in this scenario we didn't drive all the way there and get it back, we didn't train it there all the way back we actually got it recovered back from the company, they done a really good price and I couldn't refuse um, the delivery driver literally just parked it right here um, Obviously we didn't go collect the card this time around Because it was all the way from Scotland But the recovery price was only £140 So it's, it was well worth the, the price to get it recovered But right now this is my first impression Like literally it's just been parked up there He told me the keys are underneath the mat And this is it so let's check it out The key is supposedly under the mat So Oh, that's when you know when the key's here. Okay. Oh, wow. So it came with two car keys. Yes. Every car. Oh, wow. Look at this. No way. It's Clifford. Clifford, Clifford alarm system. Well, that's a bonus, isn't it? Did not know this car came with this. Two keys and Clifford alarm. Let's look inside. Oh, oh my god, no way. Is this the logbook? Is this the service history? That's exactly what we needed. But let's just see if this car starts up. Hold on, what's that? What's this? The bonnet thing. That must have been broken off. Is there anything here? Uh oh, got a bit of a problem here. Okay, it looks like the bonnet. Someone has snapped off the bonnet thing, the bonnet cable. Okay, let's uh, let's get to the back anyway before we start the car. Okay, so what is this? Got the old, 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 old MOTs. More MOT, which is good. This is what I was looking. This is what I was after. Service book. Wow. What that say? Radio code. That's a good one. Oh, this is so. What does that say? Oil change. Oh, this is so good. This is the first car I bought from Copilot. It came with a service. What does it say? Forty-nine thousand, fifty-two thousand. So you can see the clip of the alarm system has been installed here. There it is. Yeah. Oh, there's a locking bolt. It's always good to find that because that could be a bit of a problem. What's this? Oh! <laughs> so clearly the previous owner worked in Morrison's. He was a key worker. Well, good on you, mate. Honda Civic Cat 1. Ah, oh, yeah. This is so good. Ah, oh, it comes with the booklet, Clifford. Ah, oh, this is so good. Not bad buy. I'll put this all back up, but I'm just really excited right now. Let's look in the glove compartment. Anything? Okay. Some light bulbs. I don't feel that guy. The interior's not looking too bad, to be honest. It's got red copy to the bottom. Maybe this is. Not sure what car that is from, but yeah. All right, let's jump out. Uh, okay. All right, let's just see if this. Car starts up first time. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Okay, wow. She starts up. She starts up. Back discs. It's got brand new discs at the back, which is really good. Yeah, Brembo pads they are. New as well. Very good. Let's see the exhaust. Is it standard? Is it modified? And the body's not looking too bad, to be honest. Interesting. But anyway, let's get straight to the Civic. 
why did I buy another Civic? Well, this is um, a 2002 plate, so it's the, not the preface. If you could tell from the front, the, the, the ugly front bumper and the way it looks, it's just not as good as the facelift one. But um, yeah, so why did I buy it? So it is standard. It's got very low miles, around 80,000, and you know, it's it just looks in uh, immaculate condition. It looks really good. You know, it looks presentable in the pictures. The car looked really, really well, but um, you know, it was a really good price. We actually bought this for just over, I think it was um, about two thousand two hundred pound with the fees. And to me, I felt like it was a good bargain. It's completely stuck, and that's one of the biggest reasons why we got it. And I do like buying modified salvage cars, but in this instance, it's a stuck one, so we just want to pay our luck, um, which is always the case in the auction in the auction game when you buy auction cars, but. This is not clean. There's a damage, and here it is. Bang! Full strength. So this is um, a categorized S. Basically, basically, it's a structural damage. It's not like a bumper we can replace it, or a light, or a door. It's literally the main damage. If I was open the door now, it's literally been wedged in. But uh, that's why there's a bit of a gap there. But um, yeah, so that's the only damage. There's no other damage whatsoever. But um, just seeing the car, we had it dropped off. Um, it's got really, really like fresh tyres, literally like the brand new. You can tell from the thread, and they are um, uh, Pirelli's uh, running on two hundred five forty. It's got brand new front discs, brand new pads. Um, it's actually got Brembo's on there, and even all the way around as well. It's brand new. Uh, again, Pirelli P0s, that's so much thread. Uh, brand new rare discs, brand new rare pads. And uh, you know, like these are the things that make make the bike good because I don't have to spend any more money. Um, by the way, uh, DW Plates, uh, they supported me with the plates. So um, if you want to get num plates made, go to DW Plates, they'll, they'll hook you up. And now apart from that, you know, um, I honestly thought, um, There'd be something different with this one, but it literally is exactly the same as the 2004, 2005, 2006 plates. The only difference is they come with a, a rare red light. Um, all the body kit is the same, apart from the front. The, the headlight is a bit different, and the front bumper is different, but that's all about it. It's also got the same red badge, same badge, same everything. And believe it or not, um, I would like to do a race where this against the old four plate tripod that we've got to see which one's faster because um, you just never know which one's uh, quicker. I know there's different years but there might be a big difference but you guys can drop a comment down below and tell me what you think. But uh, yeah so this is the buy. Um, moving on to the interior, we weren't too bad from inside. Um, there are quite a few wear and tears like um, on the steering wheel. The gear knob just looks like someone's just shaved all the shiny bit to it. But um, but the most horrendous bit is this bit right here. And it's a uh, kapow! So literally someone's just ripped a, a chunk off the seat. And it just looks like somebody that had this car or the previous owner. But uh, I believe that it just, it just comes to um, how much you care for the car. Because some people put front covers in the seat. But yeah, the car does need a really, really good clean everywhere, even outside the car. It's looking really dirty. But I think um, we will do a video of a detail on this car. But um, we'll leave that for another video. Like, wedge this here and pull the bunny. So, thank you very much for leaving this in the car, the previous owner. Um, so, um, the engine. I thought the engine was going to be modified when we first got it. Because most type parts have an induction kit. So pow and believe it or not like there wasn't no pictures the bun engine base so i was playing with fire but in this case um it's not looking too bad it's looking a bit oily here but um ideally it's stuck the most important bit um, again low miles it's a fresh engine and um you know it starts up fine it works fine nothing more to it it's absolutely amazing this is part of the the alarm system that's fitted um which is next to the battery it's an amazing alarm system because what happens is is that um, it's so good that when you get near the car it starts going doo, 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 to warn 
objects or people close to the car so it's a really very very that's probably the biggest surprise mod that i've had on the channel uh, it was pretty sick i'd say but apart from that no the engine's looking pretty well um again it's completely stuck no no funny surprises and everything i did start this car and um the car runs smooth like a butterfly no issues whatsoever got all fluid so it's just like the previous owner has looked after the car really well so i really appreciate that one and uh you know got got goodbye with this civic i believe you, you guys can drop a comment down below and tell me what you think on this car um, what, what else can i say um the one of the biggest reasons to why we got this type r is because the other type r which we got is low miles I was, I was gonna modify it and then i thought to myself that it's such a good type r low miles and sometimes you just got to keep cars stuck and so this is why we got another Civic Type R and this one's we're gonna actually modify we're gonna build this Civic Type R I know a lot of people mentioned that let's build a build a car for for once and um, this is what we're gonna be doing and um, there's also a few other cars in the pipeline that I wanna gonna bring in soon um, we've got quite a lot of projects coming in but let's have not um, showed it to you guys yet there will be reveals quite a few project cars but um, this one definitely uh, I am definitely going to be planning to either boost the car or supercharge it or even like modify it to a high extent with the NA uh, way but you guys could drop a comment down below and tell me what you think and what route to go for but I am very 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 tempted to boost the Type R um, I feel like uh, for for the amount of money to, for the power that you get it's, it's just well worth it and I know the reliability issues but we'll just do what we can but uh, yeah so um, this is it and uh, I hope you um, hope you guys um, you know thank you again for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video may the almighty the lord uh, sprinkle his peace and blessings upon each and every one of you and your family and I'll watch you guys in the next video peace Wow.